The world looks on and talks of the peasant. The peasant has no worries. In his little lyrical fields, he plows and sows. He eats fresh food. He loves fresh women. He is his own master, as it was in the beginning. The simpleness of peasant life. The birds that sing for him are eternal choirs. Everywhere he walks, there are flowers. His heart is pure. His mind is clear. He can talk to God as Moses and Isaiah talked. The peasant who is only one remove from the beast he drives. The travelers stop their cars to gape over the green bank into his fields. There is the source from which all cultures rise and all religions. There is the pool in which the poet dips and the musician. Without the peasant base, civilization must die. Unless the clay is in the mouth, the singer's singing is useless. The travelers touch the roots of the grass and feel renewed when they grasp the steering wheels again. The peasant is the unspoiled child of prophecy. The peasant is all virtues. Let us salute him without irony, the peasant plowman who is half a vegetable, who can react to sun and rain and sometimes even regret that the maker of light had not touched him more intensely, brought him up from the subsoil to an existence of conscious joy. He was not born blind. He is not always blind. Sometimes the cataract yields to sudden stone falling or the desire to breed. The girls pass along the roads, and he can remember what man is, but there is nothing he can do. Is there nothing he can do? Is there no escape? No escape. No escape. The cows and the horses breed, and the potato seed gives a bud and a root, and rots in the good mother's way with her sons. The fledged bird is thrown from the nest on its own. But the peasant in his little acres is tied to a mother's womb by the wind-toughened navel cord like a goat tethered to the stump of a tree. He circles round and around, wondering why it should be. No crash. No drama. That was how his life happened. No mad hooves galloping in the sky. But the weak, washy way of true tragedy, a sick horse nosing around the meadow for a clean place to die.